So once we've done the exam, um, we then just want to sort of think about the implications of that. Obviously we're looking for fluid in each of those four sites and every time we see fluid we call that a positive response um, and effectively a, a assign that a score of one. What we'll then do is total that up. So at the end we're going to come up with a score of between zero, where there was no fluid at any of the sites, they were all negative, up to four where we, you know, we had a positive response so we saw fluid at all four sites. That then has been shown to correspond to um, either the degree of anemia or, and or the chance of developing anemia um, over, the, over time as, as the bleed goes on. So, uh, with a score of one or two, so long as the PCV of the animal, if you take the PCV at the same time, is over 32, then uh, it's been shown that uh, just serial monitoring uh, is fine. If the PCV is lower than 32, but you only had a score of one or two, it's worth looking for a source of bleeding elsewhere besides the abdomen. If, on the other hand, you've got a score of three or four, then um, a PCV of over 25, again, you can seri serially monitor uh, the animal. If, on the other hand, the PCV is under 25 and there's a score of three or four, then that may well be an animal that either needs a blood transfusion um, or even a, a, an X lab to try and find the source of bleeding. Don't forget, of course, that not all uh, fluid within the abdomen will be blood, um, and in all cases, it would be worth uh, taking an abdominocentesis sample to confirm the nature of that fluid. What the ultrasound scan is not able to do is, is to assess the nature of that fluid without taking a sample. So again, in all cases, unless there's some kind of clinical contraindication, you should be looking to get, to get an abdominocentesis sample. But bearing in mind that a lot of these cases will be blunt trauma, uh, then, then there's a real chance that that will be blood in most cases. One thing also worth noting is that uh, this scoring system has not been proven in cats. It's not been proven with the animals in dorsal recumbency. So again, uh, as well as the clinical indications for not having the animal in dorsal recumbency, the, the scoring system is, is not effective. Um, and the other thing is that this only works for blunt trauma uh, with regards to the scoring system. So uh, fast scanning for penetrating trauma of the abdomen uh, has, has not been verified and, and is generally not uh, very sensitive or specific. So other imaging modalities, i.e. Uh, CT and radiology, radiography, are, um, are, are probably uh, more effective means of, of, of assessing penetrating trauma to the abdomen.